Happy Sunday to everyone out there. And another tough loss uh, by the Seahawks. And um, as I said probably in one of my previous videos, this Seahawk team could have easily been, you know, we're 6-3. and three. We easily could have been the other way around, 3-6, and six, or if not our worst record. Seattle had a rough time uh, this whole game. Um, but despite the defense, for example, um, you know, giving up a lot of yards, they showed up when they needed to. And then despite Russell Wilson turning the ball over, I guess he turned it over three times, I think with two interceptions, Seattle still had opportunities, um, especially in the second half, even before the second half, getting into the uh, second quarter, for example, to, if not tied to, you know, and potentially, you know, um, you know, pull ahead and, and potentially win the game. So, uh, Russell Wilson, you know, one of my concerns is that he might have played himself out of the MVP conversation, um, especially because he didn't score any touchdowns. Uh, but despite, you know, this this is the second game um, in a row where Russell Wilson um, uncharacteristically turned the ball over. But Despite that, and, and maybe I'm putting too much stock on Russell, I still believe he's not going to do that, um, hopefully not in this Arizona game, and definitely throughout the rest of the season. I think between this game, this game against the Rams, and the Bills loss, and the Cardinals loss, I think this is a byproduct of Russell um, at times having too much on his plate. Um, and... You know, he might be pressing a little bit. I, I think there's, you know, there's parts of him that are trying to force the ball. Or, or I think sometimes he spots things, um, you know, a little later than he would like to. And then when he throws it, you know, these defenders, because they're professionals, are going to close that cap and pick the ball off or incomplete, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, regardless of all that, and, and despite um, all the shortcomings with the way this game played out, Seattle you know, only lost by seven. This game, to me, easily could have been a blowout as far as, you know, playing the Rams. Um, the Rams could have, you know, ran away with this. But thankfully, there was some incompletes. And yeah, that's credit to our defense. Um, but there were some incompletions uh, from um, Goff, the Rams quarterback, to his receivers that thankfully bailed us out of some of these, um, um, that, you know, bailed us out to get us off the field, thankfully. So, um, you know, all that being said, you know, this, the, the destiny and the, the future of the Seahawks when it comes to this season is still, um, in their hands. Um, it's still out in front of them. Um, I'm not sure if we're in third place now in the division, or I heard one commentator say that we're all, um, between the Cardinals, Rams, and Seahawks, like we're all tied for first. And then unfortunately, uh, the 49ers, um, you know, are at the bottom. They're the only team that um, I'm pretty sure is down and out for the rest of the year. So it's the NFC West is called the NFC best for a reason. And this game was another example of that. So uh, I'm curious to see how Seattle's going to answer because this is two consecutive losses. And I don't remember, at least since Russell Wilson's been the quarterback, where we had two back-to-back -back losses. <clears throat> um, like it's, I'm not sure if it's happened during Russell Wilson's time, and if it has, as far as I know, it's been very rare. Um, but I'm curious to see how the Seahawks are going to come into this Cardinals game because it's another tough matchup within the division. Um and Kyle Murray and the Cardinals just came off of a uh, exhilarating win over the, the Bills. I actually saw parts of that game, especially near the end, where I thought the Bills, because the Bills, I think, pulled ahead uh, with like 36 seconds left in the game, up by four. And I did not anticipate uh, the Cardinals you know, pulling off a Hail Mary, and, and lo and behold, they did. I didn't see it live, but I saw the highlight. And before I knew it, the Cardinals won that game. So, you know, kudos to the NFC West, in this case, the Rams, for, you know, limiting the lead, the NFL's leading offense offense to zero points and, or um, 
you know, they had that one touchdown um, by, I think, Dallas, our running back, I think. And then, but there was no touchdowns from Russell Wilson. So, a lot, you know, some of that was self-inflicted, especially with Russell turning the ball over and the offensive line at times not protecting, you know, Russell and where these players are getting free hits on him. So there's, you know, all that being said, I, I, I the future, I think, is still bright for this team. Um, there's still obviously some things to fix. And even if the Seahawks won this game, and even if they won the Bills game or any of these other games, and let's say this team happened to be undefeated, there's still obviously stuff to get better, specifically specifically on that defense. And now, um, you know, with that offense as well, you know. And there were a couple plays where DK um, was open, and for some reason, Russ didn't see him. I think part of that has to do with the pass rush. Um, that Russ was dealing with and being under duress for a lot of the game. So um, all that being said, I'm, I'm kind of rambling on and on. Um, I think the Seahawks can bounce back against the Cardinals. It's going to be probably a rough, tough game. Um, Seahawks are probably going to have to play, specifically Russell, um, a near-perfect game, um, which is hard to do game in and game out. And it's starting to show, especially on Russell's side. So... Uh, with all that being said, uh, like I said, I think the future is bright and, you know, we'll move on and on to the Cardinals. All right. Go Hawks.